All right, sorry about that, folks. Just like the last time, um, YouTube has act been acting kind of funny, and even though I pre-schedule stuff, um, when I try to actually start it, it runs into problems. So I apologize for the delay. Uh, so hopefully I didn't keep you guys waiting too long, and we're too close. Let me scoot you back a bit. So thanks to everyone for joining. Today we're going to be doing a live stream of um, Ocular Max or MMC's Assaultus. And I just realized that I don't know where one of his... Gu oh, his gun's back here. Okay, good. I, I thought I lost one. To get started, we're, we actually get to do a full review, um, which means in transformation. So we're going to start off in alt mode. We're going to get to robot mode and then finally finish off with Assaultus in, um, in combined mode. It disconnected me once again. I assume we're on. All right, so uh, yeah, there's this guy, uh, these two, but we get to do the full transformation now, which I think is the coolest part about this. But yeah, okay, great. Now, now it's now it's going. All right, sorry about that, Carlos. All right, let's see. So here's Vortex. You can see it's a really accurate um, alt mode. They were very happy and proud about that fact that it's very accurate, you have the translucent pieces here. Even the landing gear is actually accurate to uh, the vehicle itself. So I'm not a helicopter military guy, so I have no idea what this, what he's supposed to really be, Vortex or I guess, but supposedly it's very, very accurate. So even has windshield wipers, this paint, this is obviously missing some paint here, but overall I think it looks really quite nice. It has some symbols over here, which I'm not really sure what that's about. And then it actually has Propellers, although the propeller actually runs into, or whatever, the tail thingy. Now, this does spin around quite well. You can combine them and shorten them if you'd like. Those are really for the alternate modes. These guns do tab on the sides. This one in particular is kind of loose. Hey, Big Mewtwo, how's it going? The gun can tab into the front here, or if you want, you can just pull that out. Rotate this closed. And you're good to go. So it's kind of weird in the sense that... Um, I'm going to have to go into robot mode and then come basically all the way back into alt mode to uh, get this guy into combined mode. But, sorry about the lagging. Uh, I, like I said, I don't know what's going on with YouTube uh, today. I don't know, maybe it's super busy, but it's it caused me a lot of problems trying to get started. Um, but yeah, I basically have to come back into this mode to go into combined mode. Um, really quickly, as always, these are early previews. Obviously, no paint on these. Uh, they're still fixing some of the tolerances and such and so forth. Uh, so just keep that in mind while we do this transformation. And I'm doing most of this transformation just from what I can postulate or uh, divine just things up. Pull them out to the side a little bit and then lift them up back here. Um, you can actually collapse these blades all the way in and things up. Pull them out to the side a little bit and then lift them up back here. I think I said it before, they look like they have tabs here that will go into these slots eventually, but they're not tolerance. I mean, four, but there we go. You can also now pull this up and get this out of the way. This is on a telescoping joint that we'll make use of later. Uh, let's see if what, what I remember here. Uh, I think the next part is we got to get the arms out of the way. So let's pull these arms kind of down and to the side. Oh, we have to split the tail too. Uh, one of the where it's not very well tolerant yet. Let's do it. Onto the side. And we can manage it. I don't know why this one's getting stuck. There we go. Like so. Move this up. And then this is where eating stuff are. Uh, you want to have here and here. And then we can open up the bottom of this up. And this is the fist. You just pull down on these. You rotate them down. These will kind of just sit back in like so. Let's go ahead and complete the legs first. Uh, it's pretty easy. The first thing we'll do is close this up. Use these two tabs. I didn't get 
before, but I saw in the transformation video that they showed afterwards, it, you do get some cover for this, um, just around like that. It doesn't tab in anywhere, but that's kind of what it's supposed to do. So you get a little bit of gapage, but much more filling than I was actually expecting. And then the front, you just keep it the same, basically. There's a tab here that uh, tabs in the knee. So let's just do that on the other side as well. Apparently, YouTube won't start. Hey, are, are you guys not seeing this? Chad, are you are you seeing this? Uh, okay, that's kind of weird. It says I'm live. Hmm. Hopefully, you guys are seeing this. Otherwise, I'll just upload this video afterwards. All right, Dayton's seeing it, so apparently some some of you are seeing it. So we're just gonna march on. All right, great. Ryan can see it too. Great, great, great. Uh, the next part of the lower body is really just finishing off the, the legs. You want to untab the hip skirts, the front and back, and then scooch these hip skirts out. And then this is where kind of like the cool stuff happens. So the legs combine in combined mode to tab in, and there's no gap, which is great. You usually see in combine, uh, combiners that the legs form the elbow joints or something like that but they have a big gap. Uh, the way they did this is they have a double hinge up here so you can spread the, the hips out for robot mode and um, combine them or you know narrow them for arm mode, which I think is really clever. One of the really clever things about this transformation, including the hands, the hands are actually pretty amazing as well. All right, so next thing we'll do, this is one of the things I don't know what it's for yet. This has, there's a little flappy thing. Um, I asked them what it's about, they asked the designer and they haven't gotten back to me on that. So we'll, we'll figure that out later when this officially uh, releases. Up here, you flip these little pieces around. Here, let me get the arms out the way. Um, and then this collapses in on itself, like kind of accordions. So it goes like that and like that. So it, oh, sorry, like so. And then this will fold into the backpack uh, eventually. Well, I guess we can just do it now. So you do that. And so again, I don't, I don't really know what this is for. It doesn't seem like it's supposed to go up in robot mode because there's not a lot of clearance. But I don't really know what it does for the, in, the alt mode or, or combined mode either. So this other side, which has all the gears and stuff like that, uh, you actually separate the blades and then collapse them in on each other like this so they're overlapping and then collapse them again these pieces fold down and kind of like the other side well although, although a little bit different you rotate this in and then you fold this piece and it all collapses in on itself like so you're gonna have kind of have to have it angled like this the the blades here the tail fin blades but like the same thing you kind of just put it in the backpack. Come on. Yeah, this is one of the things I think instructions will help on because I'm not really sure how to get this in with the clearance. It goes in, but it, it, I think there's probably a, a better way to do it where it doesn't sound scary like it's currently sounding. Because the blades have to, the blades go in too but it's just in a way that I'm not really that familiar with. So I think maybe like that. Oh, this thing's blocking it. See this stupid flap. That's what was causing me heartache. And this goes in like so, there we go. Okay, see, I don't, I don't know what this flap does at all. But you can see it all cleans up really nicely. This, this piece comes down. There's a little notch there that it tabs into and then you telescope it up. And there's two tabs here on each side that it's supposed to tab into. Uh, currently tabs in loosely. And then if the head stayed on, <laughs> we would rotate it around, but here we go. You get the idea. And there we have, oh, nope, arms. So the arms are also kind of cool. You flip this open, you reveal the fist by rotating it, close this up to hide it, and then flip it all the way around to tab it in. And then you'll reveal the slot that is hidden normally in uh, the other modes where you can tab in the guns. 
Okay, now we have Impetus in robot mode. And I think he looks quite good. I think his head sculpt looks very much like Vortex. The gun, obviously, will have a handle that reveals itself. And the peg is kind of like some of the figures we've seen lately. I think, like, Fans Toys RC had this too. It's the peg that goes into the back of the hand as opposed to um, the side of the hand, like that. Yeah, the engineering is very clever. Um, I think the Ocular Max line in general is like that. I think uh, AK is uh, still the designer. And he, he does really impressive work. And then I, I, apparently there was other designer that helped with the sculpting and uh, re-engineering of some of it too. But the bit base design, I think, is AK. All right. So you can see here he has double, double ball-jointed neck. So he has a neck at uh, base that's a ball joint. And then uh, at the head, he has another one. Yeah, Dayton, I'll, I'll show some comparisons right after I do articulation. He has oh, rotating shoulders, you can go up and down like that, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which is pretty good. He has a ball jointed thumb, and then um, I think all these are individual. Yeah, each individual finger is curled and pinned here. Sorry about the lighting, and I'm just realizing it looks kind of dark. Does this look better? using just random filters to see if that, oh uh, no, if that helps. All right, uh, where were we? So he does have an ab crunch. We're seeing a lot more figures that have that, but given that this is a, a triple changer and a combiner, um, it's nice that they have it. Waist swivel that goes all the way around. We saw the hip skirts. They actually have two different tabs, uh, one for kind of like the robot mode, like I showed before, and then one for combined and um, and alt mode. He has ratcheted hips going that way, and then he has a double joint, so you do to get some, just friction going outwards. He does have a thigh swivel, and he does have a knee bend, which is ratcheted because, uh, so he has a knee bend up here, which is ratcheted, and then a smaller friction one at the bottom, right here at this base. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't flip the toes down. So he does have toes. Uh, let's see, he does have ankle tilt, but no um, rotation here. So he does have a little bit of ankle tilt though. Again, really nice to have this amount of articulation for a figure that uh, has two different modes and also combines. All right, so let's hold, off, hold him off for a second. Uh, I'm gonna do comparisons all at the end. Uh, cover the hands. So they did cover the hands a little bit, Chad. Uh, I missed that before. And they had actually told me at TFCon that they, there was no room for it. But then looking at the transformation video, it, it does cover a little bit. more. Than, before, I thought it was just going to be like this, which I think looks fine. I mean, it does, it's definitely gaffy there. But it's much better to have that instead. You do have some kibble on the inside. but So you can pick your poison. All right. I'll do comparisons when Onslaught's in robot mode as well. All right, let's bring out Onslaught, or um, what does he call? What is what is he called? Incursus, Incursus, for kind of like incursion. I don't think his alt mode has a means of storing his gun. At least not that was readily apparent to me. But he's also really nice. His alt mode is very large. Where is Streak? You can see just how long it is with his trailer. Like two and a half streaks. And then as far as width, uh, yeah, he's about a little bit wider than Streak. So very, very large alt mode. Uh, I wish I had Prime in alt mode to show you a comparison there, but um, I'm going to have him for robot mode. He does have this cannon, which angles up and down like this. You can rotate around. You can also extend. And then you can have the barrels go up and down. There's also another portion here, which um, is really for combined mode. So we'll get into that later. This part flips up. And they were saying that I think it's part of uh, when Starscream streaks a scientific unit of measure, at least in my, at least in my world. It's my world. So you guys are just living in it. 
Uh, so some of this detail, I guess, is from when they were first created or something like that. I, I honestly don't know. Um, I'm not one of those lore experts, so I'm sure somebody will comment on what this exactly is supposed to be. He does have rear view mirrors that are currently trans translucent plastic. I'm guessing they'll be painted and they can come out if you're worried about them breaking uh, or the, and they can rotate in different areas. He, had, he has rubber wheels. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 10. I can do math. 10 rubber wheels. They can come off if you want and nice mold rims as well. Uh, one of the clever things I noticed that I just noticed is act these will actually tab in here. Um, they're hip skirts, but they do double duty. If you if before, I didn't have these tabbed in, and so the, this part would rotate. But they actually thought of that, and this is how you tab it in. That's uh, another thing. This guy has a lot of great tabs that in all modes, and the transformation is really intuitive. So I'm I'm really glad that they're gonna let me show you how this all works. Translucent windows and so forth. I think this guy will look really, really good once uh, he has paint on him. He even has tail light here and a bumper. Really nicely molded. Yeah, and most of the most of the robot mode is hidden. You can see the thighs here, but that's about it. So let's robot mode. Uh, first thing we'll do, I think we'll deal with the legs first. I think that's the easiest. So come down here, untab these pieces. These little flaps here will fold in. They're just secure tabs here, which aren't really necessary from what I've seen. Flip those around. I actually just noticed those, noticed those recently. Flip this around like that. Flip this around. And then, um, so let me, let me actually show how this works. Untab these hip skirts and flip them up and around for now. So this button, this looks like a peg, but it's not a peg. It's actually a button on both sides. That's what is uh, hiding the extension. Untab both the sides. Here is where this ankle is going to come up and tab in here. It's a really interestingly shaped, like C-shaped almost tab. And then you have the foot. All right, come around this way. This flap will come down and tab in there. This side piece will tab in and then close around. And then you have one robot lo mode leg done. Uh, this is a sliding joint. You want to have that in the middle for onslaught mode. So same thing on the other side. Push up on that. Make a tab. Pull, this, pull down on this. Have that tab. Come around to the side. That will tab. And then this will fold down and that will tab. So both legs done. Come up to the upper body. Let's get, or at least midsection. Fold these flaps down that I was talking about before. Uh, let's see here. We want to untab this. This will actually fold down and become his chest piece. I'm going to separate the two halves of the cab. And let's see if I remember exactly how to do this. Uh, let's start with the arms first, I suppose. So the arms, the untab, oh, that's right. You have to flip this up like that, because that is uh, tabbing these pieces into place. Then you untab the front, if you can manage it. Dang, that's really in tight. There we go, good gosh. That'll be the elbow. You flip it up. And I think this is his uh, correct shoulder. All right, come around to this side again. Flip this up and in. On tab this beefy tab, good gosh. Open up the, the front, rotate out the fist. And if I'm missing a question, just let me know. Just go ahead and repeat it. I, I don't, I'm, I'm probably missing a lot. All right. Uh, I actually didn't, I actually don't know what this is for. Like I, I had noticed it, but I really don't know what it's intended for. Hmm. Anyway, so we're just going to pretend like that doesn't exist right now. Because I don't know what it is. Oh, you can actually push these wheels and they slide down. So that they're more in line. All right, 
the back is where the head is hidden and this is also a cool mechanism so you have to lift this up and you can see uh, Assaulter's head but inside is where Onslaught's head is so you have to get his head out close this back up and then put the chest plate back in close that up like so and with that we have what's his name uh incursus incursus in robot mode man he's freaking tall so he is really large his gun has a or this smaller tab that comes down. You can see the big one. This one is going to be for combined mode. And then you just open this up and you tab that in. And of course, the piece fell out. Oh no! All right, you know we're we're not gonna deal with the gun right now. And you can see the, the ratchets. This they're just super loose in this test shot. Let's bring back Vortex. So he is way. This is supposed to tap and to hold it. In, in place. Uh, options in a lot of collections once version 3 comes out. I mean, I guess we're just going to have to live with it if we want MP sized figures. Uh, combiners, that is. Hey, Juan from Peru. See why they really need this big. So let's get rid of these guys and go into our here one joint does have leds and man this is not activated but it can work in this mode and then i'll obviously work in combined mode as well it's shoulders the ratchet Rotate, rotating ratchets. He does have a bicep swivel. I do find that you have to actually untab this. Uh, in order, and uh, really nice that they're able to include ab crunches. Hip skirt. The out of the way. Really, just want to touch eye swivel. I thought he had double jingle joint and the part in back, as well as come on. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, he does have an ankle tilt this way. He does have toe tilt, I guess, and toe tip toe uh, tilt. He has a lot of weird stuff going on on this foot, that's for sure. He also has a heel spur piece that you can use if you want to... I think it's actually supposed to be down like this, because if you notice... I'm not really sure about this flap either, but if you notice, um, his foot isn't completely flat when you have it, when you have it like this. So I think this heel piece might have to fold flat in order to give him a flat foot. But I'm not really sure. Good gosh, this, this is a problem with reviewing samples. It's super floppy. All right, so let's go ahead and get him into combined mode real quick. Let me scooch back again. Uh, on this guy in his uh, robot mode before I move on. Otherwise, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep on trucking with the truck. All right. Uh, let's deal with the legs first. The legs are easy. Scooch this piece to the right. 
bend it up like this. Uh, the, the transformation video has this just kind of staying put, but I actually think it looks a little bit better and covers up the joint a little bit more if you flip this out. Um, and it seems to make a little bit more sense to me because it also locks the the hip in place, if, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. But anyway, I think it looks a little bit better to do it like this. But it's up to you. The legs basically stay the same. The only difference is... Here, let me get this out of the way. The only difference is... This in here, bring this up, and bring the bumper down like that. Then you can tab both of these underneath, and that secures all those flaps. And I think this piece just folds down, like so, the toe tip only. And that's one leg done. Let's try the same thing for the other side. Uh, yeah, there are so many nowadays, right? But that, I think that's true with, with all, which is ratcheted. And again, I don't know what this flap does. Until I really do. Right. It's not hand sit in. P should also tab in there. There we go. And get the combine your joint out. So you'll see it's kind of like an I beam shaped. So I don't know what the the actual other part will be since they haven't released it yet. Um, but that gives you an idea. All right. So next up is the upper body. I think the first thing we'll do is just kind of flip this up. This is where it come out. So this one is the hip skirt. You just pull out on that. There's two tabs that go into the crotch. And secure that into place and fold, fold. The upper body. Um, let's see. The, you keep this down like this. As we did before, we're going to pull this all up. The only difference is now is that we're going to put the head back into the, the helmet. All right, the arms. It's just not sitting there. Uh, did I forget something? Like that. And then this uh, chest piece from Onslaught tabs into here, which will secure the shoulder even more. So again, there's a lot of really smart tabs that lock everything into place. All right, and this piece comes around and down and will sit on the back. And there's several tabs there, and this component will fold in to hold that in place. So we're almost done. Thanks for sticking with me through this long transformation. Like so. Rotate the arm forward, get the combiner port down. Get the wheel down. Tab the arm into place, tab that into the main body, like so. Collapse this piece down, make sure that's tabbed in. Nope, that's wrong. This comes around down like that. And then this flap folds in. And the very last thing we do is what I mentioned before is you can actually extend these. And to get this kind of a wider profile, you rotate these like that, and you get like an extra centimeter and a half or so of width to these cannons in between them. Go ahead and tab that up for, up front and collapse it back down. So you can actually have the cannons going in various directions here. And then if those were tabbed in, yeah, I don't know if I like these or not, maybe because they're just not um, secure right now. I think the screw's loose. But yeah, here we go with Assaultus. 
at least in the main body. Impetus. All right, for him, look at that. So for this panel, I guess, I don't know if it's called a fuselage in a, a helicopter or not, but I'm just going to call it that. Yeah, the torso mode looks awesome, right? I think so too. It's really beefy. It doesn't suffer from like super thin waist syndrome like a lot of a lot of figures do. Um, everything is tabbed in really securely. Yeah, I, I really have no complaints. Uh, we'll go over articulation in in just a bit. Let's go ahead and oh, now now I lost my train of thought. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with the upper upper back. Uh, I wanna pull these down. Yeah, see the head off. Out of the way for now. Uh, slightly different transformation for for the tail fin. Um, you don't actually transform it all the way back. You kind of do a partial trans. Think what they showed off was something like this, where. Or these ab into the blade base, rotate these down, and that kind of locks everything nice and securely. Again. But don't the hips. Remember to flip these all up. this what you want to do is rotate this out like so and down flip the toe up all right so let's tab in the thighs like so And then you're gonna fold these in closely and you'll see that there's separate tabs to hold this into place. Sorry about the head rattling around in there. Uh, and it's really hard just seeing half of it, but you'll see. Oh, and I actually wanted to show you the mechanism here. So the mechanism is really clever. Uh, you can actually do a rotation. So this center piece rotates separately. And I think he's the right arm or left arm. So you can see. is and again it rotates so it doesn't go to them like that yeah the hand combination is really really high beam this part lifts up ah. supposed to slide down in there and i'm holding him as far out as i can these guns and stuff can tab in where you want. I'm just going to leave that off for now just because it just makes it a lot easier. Same swivel. Uh, he, and he can look up, but I don't think he can look down, or at least not in this part of down. He does for that LED to shine through. We talked about the Cannons. 
He does have um, ratchet his shoulders. Man, I'm struggling today. Shoulder rotation as well, which is amazing for combiner, right? That's the only handful do. He has complete waist ratcheted waist swivel. His hip skirt is seated. Hips up. He has outward ratchet. He has at least one set of ratcheted knees. Alright, so let's deal with the arm next. So the arm obviously has that rotational joint that built into uh, to keep this from moving up and down. But anyway, he has a bicep swivel and double jointed elbows. So he has joints down here. Actually, it's triple jointed, I guess, technically, right? Because he has this small joint down here. He has this joint, which is, I think, and then he has the hips themselves. So I guess this technically triple jointed elbows. So he can get a lot of articulation out of it yeah i didn't really think about that which one let's have that about again pull that help take down into the palm and which i guess maybe is supposed to and then he has two pin joints on each Here's the pose, and this helps keep the gun very secure once you have all the fingers kind of wrapped around it. Saw me struggling before. Come on, why can't I get this thing to slot in? I had it once. Stay secure. So you can see made make onslaught bigger. Again, I, for me that hurts my soul, but I'm not going to keep his arm essentially by straightening out his arm. Yeah, he's like his arm. All right, so, so that's actually going to come out, and I wanted to share that. And obviously, these guys are releasing uh, fairly soon uh, after improve all the plot is to be combined mode, but I haven't seen it in person. Uh, for me, as far as combiners go, this is Steelers. Um, but I don't have any other large combiners, so we'll have to see how this you know, ends out. As, as their first combiner in the MP scale, 
And obviously, would you like to see next? So I have a couple of options. Uh, the first are going to be. From one company, uh, in the other Zeta is the largest combiner, though not my cup of tea. Uh, seemed to mention which had like uh, the redesign and so forth. I don't know if this would work.